So today is Monday the 19th, okay, of February. And I had an epiphany today, which um, it's a little concerning, but not too much. So I was picking an outfit for today. Um, and I knew I wanted to get dressed in black and white. And so I found black jeans, obviously. I'm always wearing jeans and, t and a t-shirt. <sighs> and so I'm like, but I want my outfit to be black and white. I find three different t-shirts. I find a red shirt. I find a green shirt. I find a pink shirt. And I don't like any of them. I don't want to wear any of them today. I was very adamant that I needed to find something black, something white, or at least something gray, which I don't even have that many gray shirts, but I was okay with finding a gray shirt and wearing it to campus today. And I was wondering to myself, I'm like, oh, why the heck am I so concerned about my outfit being black and white or that color scheme, monochrome like that? Even my shoes were black with white trims. I was very adamant about it. I did not want to wear my sandals because my sandals are brown. Didn't want to wear them. Wanted to wear my black and white shoes. So I did that. And I realized that it's because my mom always wore black and white on Mondays. And now this is what I'm thinking. I'm thinking my want, my need to get dressed in black and white on a Monday is a trauma response. This is my theory. Okay, so from the time that I was in crash, first time around when I was in crash, I lived with my grandparents, right? It was very nice, calm mornings. You know, grandma fixes everything. Everything is nice and serene. It's beautiful. It's gorgeous. It's, it's, it's wonderful. It's wonderful. Go to crash, come back. And then I moved in with my mom and my then stepfather. And my mom had a living nanny, right? And my uh, aunt or step aunt, is that a word? And my stepsister. Very beautiful, calm mornings with my living nanny. I'd see my mom in the morning, say goodbye to her. And then I'd get dressed, I would eat. Then I'd wait for transport and go get sent to my second crash. Right? So it's the second time around I was going to a different crash. And then from that crash, I moved in with my aunt. Right? Now, my aunt is the epitome of a calm person. Okay. My aunt is the epitome of a calm person. I look at her and I'm like, I want to be as calm as you are. Because she's calm, but she's also extroverted. So I'm like, I don't know how you balance it, but I wanna be that, right? And so, I remember my mornings being the calmest that they'd ever been. My aunt would be in the kitchen, making me breakfast. She'd be wearing uh, her gown. She's already bathed and everything. She's wearing her gown. Everything was calm. I can breathe. There's no rushing. There's nothing. The people around me are not rushing. My cousins are not rushing. They're all on time. It was fun, okay? I think of mornings and I still think of those mornings and this was back in 2004 and 2005 and part of 2006, right? It was nice. It was beautiful. It was calm. And then I moved in with my mom late 2006. I want to say around July 2006. I moved in with my mom. Despite having a living nanny, our mornings were bloody chaotic. They were bloody chaotic. Okay. Our mornings were... Gosh. And I think this also the fact that my mom um, was now, has now, had now moved to the town that we were in, which is an hour away from the next town, almost an hour away from the next town. And the bus takes an hour to get to that next town, Right. Because it stops along the way, obviously. And now, we had chaotic mornings. We had chaotic mornings. And my mom used to get dressed every single Monday without fail in black and white. Right? 
And this is why I say my wanting to dress in black and white is a trauma response. I hate chaos. I freaking hate chaos. Okay? I hate chaos. And so, when I was, the first time around I was in a different college. And I didn't have chaotic mornings. I had pretty calm mornings. I lived on campus. It was less than a 10 minute walk to my classes. Everything was good. I had pretty calm mornings. I would... Uh, more often than not go to prayer at 6 a.m. If I don't go to prayer at 6 a.m., I'm having devotion at 6 a.m. I'm already feeling pretty good about the day. I'm feeling pretty good about myself because I had devotion at 6 a.m. Or at least at half past six, I've been reading the Bible and praying. And I feel pretty good about myself. I feel pretty good about myself. And I'm not stressed about getting to campus because it's literally a five, ten minute walk from my door to my classroom. So it was never a problem. I never had issues with what I wanted to wear. I'd wake up in the morning and I'd just pull whatever I wanted to pull. Jeans, leggings, whatever. And a t-shirt or a jacket or a sweater. I did not care. And I'd just go to class. I was fine. I was feeling good. I dropped out. I came home. I had art classes for a year. I did not care what I wore to art classes. It was just clothes. I did not care. Jeans and a t-shirt every day. All day, every day. It was good and then we moved back here home i moved back home and now i'm the one who's taking the bus to the next town my mom and i don't take the same bus but we take the same we're in the same bus system move going from this town to the next town her for work and me for school i'm i'm in varsity and i have chaotic mornings and i realized that for the past three years, 2021, 2022, 2023, and of course the years just began, 2024 just began. I have been wanting to wear black and white since school began. Okay, now last year was the first time. But I realized that even last year, if it's a Monday, I need to wear black jeans and a white top or a black top. If I can't find anything in white or black, then it has to be gray. It has to follow that color scheme. And I realized that it's because my mornings now are chaotic. Because now I wake up in the morning and I want to get to school. I want to get to school. There's no there's no time to dwindle. There's no time to do anything. And even though now as a grown-up, I found my rhythm a little bit more. I started finding my rhythm last year where I know I have a routine now. And it's working very well. It takes less than an hour for me to get out of my bed and get to the bus stop. But still... Because I used to have chaotic mornings. As a trauma response, I want to wear black and white on a Monday. I don't know what I'm going to do. Where I don't know what I'm going to do. I don't know if it's going to be an everyday thing. What if I get a job and all I want to wear on Monday is black and white. And then one day they like show up in red and I feel uncomfortable. And it stresses me out. And it causes me anxiety. Because I can't go on a Monday and not get dressed in black and white. Should I challenge myself? A little bit of exposure therapy. Show up on Monday in like pink and orange. <laughs> I don't know. I don't own those colors. Um, but maybe I should like walk up in a pink shirt and blue jeans next Monday. Oh my God, no, that does not look pretty. And I'm fine wearing pink and 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 pink a pink shirt and blue jeans any other day, but just not not on a Monday. I don't know what to do about it. I don't know what to do with this newfound knowledge. I I don't I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do. Help me.